Hey guys, what's going on? This is Darth Insomnus, and welcome to more Dark Souls. In the last episode, I tried being a badass, and it failed horribly. So hopefully this time, I won't make the same dumb mistakes. Boom. Oh, please. Oh, he didn't fall over. Backstab him again. Yeah. Oh, please. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. I was so. Oh, yeah, dumb pie. The only thing these guys ever drop is the most annoying drop on the planet. But yeah, I was so close to falling off the edge there. I was thinking that I was going to fall off here like a friggin... Oh. oh yeah, another guy. But yeah, I thought I was going to fall off like a noob right there, but luckily it... There we go. Oh, come on, you. Just attack so I can backstab. Yeah, so I need to finish a thought. So, like, I thought I was going to fall off there like a noob, and luckily I didn't. Yeah. These guys beginning the game are really tanky, like they got a lot of health. And until you unlock, like, better weapons, upgrades, or something like that, like, they're hard to deal with. But luckily, they're one of the easiest enemies to backstab if you know what you're doing. Oh, he's just going to let me get a free backstab off of him. Fantastic. Ooh. And bam. Yeah, I'm not picking up your item. You literally have shit as a drop. Not worth it. I don't know how he didn't hit me. I need him to get over here. I guess this is the episode of Dark Souls where I keep giving myself heart attacks because I think I'm almost going to fall. Nope. Ow. Yeah, come over here, buddy. Come on. No, you can do it. There we go again. Yeah, I'm just trying to get him in a position. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I swear, like, these are, like, the easiest enemies to backstab if you know what you're doing. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. I think one good thwack. Ow. Not on me. There, on you. <sighs> man, oh man. Drink some more Sunny Delight. So, this area of the game is special because it has some of the most friendly, most fun enemies to fight. And by that, I mean it's not fun at all. But these guys. These guys suck. Yeah, so that animation on the second guy that you guys just saw, like, if they catch you with that, because that's, ow. I'm trying to explain something. There we go. But yeah, that little animation, like, they'll grab you and they'll just drain all of the health that you have. So you just got to be careful that you don't let them grab onto you. Oh, yeah, and I gotta be careful, too. Oh, man, these guys will just not die. There we go. But, yeah, there's a poison dark guy right there, and he'll toxic you if you're not careful. And the real annoying thing about that... Oh, here comes another guy.
Yeah, so that animation right there. Like, if they grab you with that, they will just latch onto you and destroy your health. So you gotta be careful with that. Yeah, and you gotta be careful with these guys. Yeah, screw you, buddy. Yeah, so they dropped that stuff. I'm trying to remember what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, so when those poison dark guys, like, hit you all the way with um, their darts, they won't poison you, they'll toxic you. And in case if you don't know what that means, essentially it's just really bad poison. Oh, my God, will you just... Ow. Ow. There we go. Oh, okay. So, again, just need to finish a thought for a second. So, yeah, those poison guys, like the poison guy that was right here, if he hits you with a lot of those darts, he'll toxic you, which is, like, really bad poisoning, and more so than, at, like, the normal poisoning, like, it'll just drain your health super quick. So best thing to do is not get hit by those things and kill those guys as soon as you can. This is pretty a pretty nerdy way of thinking about it, but like the way I think about it is just like Pokemon, where like a Pokemon gets normal poisoned, it'll suck for a little bit, but it's not too bad. But then you get the Pokemon that know Toxic and that more so like kills your Mons slowly but surely, so... Same thing with Dark Souls. Like, if you get toxic, like, it is just the most annoying thing in the world. And a normal purple clump, which I got right there, won't do it. You need the special purple clump that specifically heals toxic. Like, to be honest, the normal poisoning is not so bad compared to the toxic poisoning. So I think I could show you guys right now, if I have it. Uh, so yeah, here we go. So yeah, the purple moss clump reduces poison buildup and cures poison. The blooming purple moss clump reduces poison and toxin and restores status. So basically, like, if you get toxic, like, the only thing that will cure it is this blooming purple moss clump. And the purple moss clumps, or the blooming ones, you can get from, oh, and this a uh, proud soul thing, nice. But yeah, the only place you could get the blooming purple moss clump is from an undead merchant that we met up with a few episodes ago. But the only deal is, is that she is so far away. Or at least in terms of the route that I took for this run because had I taken the shortcut of Blight Town like it wouldn't have been so bad to get back up to the Firelink Shrine and the Undead Burg to find that merchant but the deal is is that I took the long way and it would take so long to get back there so I'm going to do my best to avoid the toxic stuff as best as I can oh my god Okay, there you go. <laughs> and of course I missed. Yeah, so that jump attack, I also am going to try and avoid those as best as I can. Ow. That wasn't... Okay, there we go. Like, got him right before he was going to start that nonsense. Oh, I thought there'd be items down there. Oh well. Whoop. So lost on dead. Okay, that's a dead body. I thought that was a new enemy. I was getting myself ready for that. Oh yeah, and that's the lo or that's another way you could get down to that bonfire. But I'm gonna go this way. But yeah, you guys, welcome to the polite town proper. I am not looking forward to going over there. Just poison dart dudes everywhere giving you toxic. 
fire dogs are going to be down there. I can't wait for that. Okay. I want to get that item. I believe that I can make this jump. I got to believe in myself. Okay, made it. Oh, I got a katana. Oh, that's actually really, really good. Wait, I hear somebody... Oh, that's me walking, okay. Because I thought I was about to get an encounter with the uh, enemy right there. But I think the first thing I want to do is just... Light that up. There we go. And... What I'm going to do right now... Is add another humanity... Because I'm going to reverse my hollowing and then I'm going to kindle this bonfire. So I could get that good old bonus 5 Estus flasks. I guess real quick that's something I could talk about. Something I like about in Dark Souls 1 is the fact that you have the humanities and you can use those to kindle bonfires to get up to 20 Estus flasks. Or I guess up until 10, until you get the Rite of Kindling back in the Tomb of Giants area. Then you get 20. And I do appreciate that, because with the other Souls games... Like, you have to collect, like... I know in Dark Souls 3 you collect Estus Shards, and that's how you get more flasks. And then Dark Souls 2, I forget. Because I think it's also flasks, but I... Or shards for the flasks, but I could be wrong. But I do like in Dark Souls 1, all you need is like a humanity and you can kindle a bonfire to get more flasks. Like that comes super in handy. And especially like once later game kicks in and you fight like really strong bosses or you get into really tough areas of this game. It's really nice just to be able to have all those Estus on you. Because like... The latest Dark Souls I played was 3, and with that game you kind of have to look around for different shards throughout the different levels. And I know you get a ring that allows you to get more health from the Estus that you drink, which is convenient. But in Dark Souls 1, I just like that just throw humanity into the bonfire and you get more. Like, it's way more convenient in my opinion. And then real quick... Because I was going to level up, but I think what I want to do is I'm just going to use all these souls I've collected. i just rather level up now. There we go. So I think I'm only going to be able to level up once, yeah. Which kind of sucks. And then we'll just boo. We'll just boo. I can't friggin' speak. Um, I'm gonna boost up dexterity up to 18 as well. Because now we got a new toy. Yeah, there it is. Let's see here. Minus 53. Why is that? Oh, I can't use this yet. That's why it's minus 53. I forgot. Because if your attributes... Yeah. Because, yeah, if your attributes are not met, then it does less damage. But, yeah, or 88 plus 53, I think it'll come out to. And that's not bad. And this is 103 plus 34. So that's 137 damage. And I think this will do 143. So this katana will actually do more damage than the claymore that I have right now. So that'll be neat. Plus I do like using the katanas actually. like. I did a katana build the last time I played this game, like, months ago, and it was pretty fun to use. 
So maybe I'll bump up my dexterity a bit so I could give that sort of whirl. All right. And I think the last thing I'll do for this episode is see if there's anything I can get down here because I swear that there's items that you can get. Ooh. Oh no. Well, that sucks. Yeah, again, it's been a long time. My, my mind fails me where the enemies are at. And, of course, there had to be two dudes right there. But I guess the good news is, is that my stuff's right here. So I guess that's something, at least. And with that, you guys, I think that's where I'll end this episode. Next episode, I'll get that one item there and try not to get wrecked by these two guys. So anyway, thanks you guys for watching. Thanks for taking the time to just click on the video. And hopefully I'll see you next time.